Hi, I'm Patrice Rankin. I'm Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences, and I'm a professor of classics. My response was to Record Date by Romir Harry Bearden, but I gave a little bit more context regarding Bearden than just the piece. Romir Bearden has long been a special artist for me. The first time I saw his art, I recognized in visual representation what the novelist Ralph Ellison offered in the literary space a distinct African-American engagement with artistic form, medium, and function, working within a particular tradition while also interrogating it. Bearden's 1977 collage depicts scenes from Homer's Odyssey, echoes of the classical motifs that also show up in Ellison's Invisible Man. Beard was one of my muses for understanding these seemingly separate worlds of black identity on the one hand and the materials out of which we embark upon our bigger odysseys on the other. Bearden's choice of collage for the Odyssey series makes tangible many of the fragments out of which each of us crafts a self. The portions of color, shape, light, lines, and curves that add up first to I, then to you, and finally to us. Here his monotype has the same fluidity and fragmentation as his collages. We first see abstract lines of greens, blues, yellows, and golds, perhaps divided into a kind of triptych. We begin to discern further shapes and figures. Three or four musicians, well coiffed, wearing hats, each playing their own tune. As with identity, each form is as distinct as the fragmented parts that make up a person. Together, the ensemble coheres as a composition, complete but fluid, with space for the viewer's imposition, interpolation, and improvisation. Similar to collage form, jazz for Bearden was a metaphor of possibility. He, like Ellison, emerged from a segregated America wherein the assertion of black identity was a counterpoint to mainstream American culture where that identity was denied. By the 1970s, the movement of black art was toward questions of internal cohesion and external integration. Bearden's work asks each individual to consider harmonies within a fragmented composition. That is America's We the People. So what are your favorite places to go? Okay, well, because my extended family isn't with me here, uh, the places I love to go are Miami, Florida, where my parents are, my sister and her family, my nephew, but I also love to go to New York City, where I was born and raised. Um, I really love going back to Brooklyn, uh, seeing the campus that I attended, Brooklyn College, and um, you know, it's all over New York. Uh, Highline Park is a new park that wasn't uh, there when I was a kid. It's a really special place. 